Hello everyone, my name is Grant Laramie and I'm with Fortress Safety and I am pleased to share with you some of our trap key designs in our MGuard product line. So here on this board, like I said, we have some MGuard product line parts and they're theoretically showing one cell. Now, what we really want to hit home here is the ability with our product line to go ahead and eradicate multiple hazards and end one full body entry point. So if I direct you to the top left here, we have a pneumatic isolation key. On the back of this unit, there's a cam, so as soon as I turn and remove this key, it blocks any pressure from going downstream, effectively removing the hazard from the pneumatics. After the operator has removed this key as our first step going into the cell, into our full body access point, he's going to then walk this on over to his exchange module. Currently, this top key is trapped in position and cannot be released until all of our other steps are completed. So step one is our pneumatic isolation. Moving down to our step two, Theoretically, let's say this is a robot cell and we need to eradicate that hazard as well before we get uh, prevented access. So I go up to our power isolation key and I want to remove this key with our bolt module unit. Unfortunately, I cannot because this bolt is protruding into the back of this cam. So to, to do this successfully, I need to turn the power off. Now that I've done that, I've opened up this hole and voila, I've got out our power isolation key which yet again, I'll go and follow through over to our exchange module. Two of my keys on my three are in, but as you can tell, I still can't get out our top key. So as the operator standing here, maybe not with the best understanding, he needs to then find out this is what I need to do next. Pretty self-explanatory. So then he comes over to what we have here is our explosion proof line, our Alfred, and we're gonna be able to have a solenoid in here that once the machine reaches the safety condition, power is gonna be sent to the solenoid, via a PLC or a safety relay. And when it changes states, the operator will be able to turn and remove this key. Finally, I'll bring that over to our last vacant position and engage the key. Now, I can get our access key out. And as soon as I do that, guys, all of these keys are trapped in position as well. So last but not least, I will bring this access key into our access port. And prior to that, this is trapped and this is locked. So the, we are yet to uh, get access into our cell. But as soon as I do that, I have access to turn and remove my safety personnel key. And now as an operator, I would be able to get into that cell. And obviously we want to bring this key in with us. That way, no one else outside of the cell can restart the system because this key is now trapped, which also traps this keys, which keeps all of our isolation together. So really guys, what we wanted to display here with this board is just showing all of our products working together and working to complete a full safety, well-rounded system. So all different hazards eradicating and eradicating hazards in different sequences.